first thing you're going to do is install the USB cable and plug it into your computer. Then you're going to load our custom configuration utility and tune your button. Um, before you start the software, you can peel and peel off the uh, clear cover liner of the adhesive from your switch and stick it to the back side of a piece of glass or whatever material you plan on using. Um, once you have that, then you can turn on the software. Um, you won't need a power supply for that. You just need the, the USB connection. Um, you're going to tune and configure the button. In this case, we have uh, we've done a couple of things, so let's take a look. In this configuration, when the button is, has been turned on for the first time and is sitting idle, it, it illuminates its blue LEDs. Um, so right now it's blue, and the LED light strip that's here next to it is in the off position. We've configured this to latch on and latch off um, when the button is pressed. So as you can see here, it turned on, it's turned off. Now we've also configured the button to glow orange when the button is being pressed. So I'm going to press and hold. You can see it's orange now and the lights are on. When I let go, the button stays blue but the lights stay on because they're latching. Um, your load, to connect your load is very easy. You take one of the red wires uh, because you're sharing the plus side. In this case, we are, we are powering the switch with 12 volts. We're using that same 12 volts to power the hot side of these LEDs. The black wire with the white stripe is your switched ground. So your load if you connect your load to the, 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 the negative side of your load to the black wire with white stripe, whenever we turn it off, we're effectively uh, removing ground from these lights. That's why they turn off. So it's a low side FET driver. Again, when we turn it on, what's happening is now there's ground on this black wire with white stripe, allowing the lights to turn on. Okay, very simple. You can see that again, touch and hold, it's orange. So all of these things are configurable within the software. And once it's loaded into the switch, um, it's saved into the switch. So you can power cycle it as many times as you want. When it comes up, it knows what to do. It has the correct sensitivity um, and correct configuration. Um, this same switch can be had without lights if uh, it's a non-lit application. We, um, we've used this in, in all kinds of applications like elevator buttons, uh, small, uh, small control panels for um, all kinds of things, things with loads, or you can configure this to stay using the USB. You can map a button, uh, a computer key to this, to this switch so you could have the enter key of your computer be this be this lighted switch. Um, this particular switch has been tested behind a one inch thick piece of glass. Uh, we have a video of that on our YouTube channel showing that functioning. Um, as long as the, the fascia material is non-conductive, uh, it should work well. I hope you've enjoyed this short video explaining our single button product.